Yo, 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 it's Theodorus Rex at your service here to review Michael Crichton's Travels. One of my favorite books, that, a book that I keep coming back to over the course of my life two or three times and still enjoy reading. Michael Crichton crammed in a lot of traveling in life into his 66 short years on this planet, but uh, this particular book's nonfiction, one of the few nonfictions he wrote, I think there's only two. Uh, and this is kind of reads like a journal or a diary about his travels around the world and how he came to this decision to leave Harvard Medical School. Michael's curiosity and self-deprecating humor animate his travels throughout this book. Um, some of the most interesting chapters are tracking animals in the Malay jungle, climbing the Mount Kilimanjaro, transient type in Jamaica who finds his way into the back seat of Michael's car while he has a girlfriend in tow and the guy wields a knife the Mayan pyramids. Most people are probably familiar with Crichton from his uh, novels and his filmmaking. You know Jurassic Park, Sphere, Congo are the ones that come off the top of my head. The first quarter of the book chronicles his gradual disillusionment with medical school and his decision not to practice. Uh, there is this interesting chapter, The Girl Who Seduced Everybody. Quite an interesting read, this girl. And he was an intern and married while he saw that girl in a psychiatric way. There's also some fascinating stories about his encounters with elephants, gorillas, sharks in Tahiti, fabulous read, um, psychic phenomenon, the bending of spoons. It's a book you can keep coming back to and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I've read this some of these stories aloud to some people, some friends and stuff on, on car rides, long trips and uh, nobody has ever appeared to be disappointed. In fact, enthralled might be a better term. Crichton at times can be deeply thoughtful, and, uh, provocative, and introspective type of guy. Uh, at other times he can also be a little bit whiny and a little bit, uh, almost a little bit spoiled, you might say. This one can be quite spoiled too. Michael talks a little bit about his disillusionment with humanity, too, um, in an indescript type of way. One of the chapters that comes to mind is when he's going to see the uh, massive turtles on the beaches of Malaysia that are uh, coming up onto the beach to lay their eggs. They're about, they're about 400 pounds each, and, um, and just his interaction, how the turtles have to suffer through the human beings uh, taking flashbulb pictures in front of their eyes and while they're laying their eggs how they're massively exhausted. I'm going to keep this video very short. This book did come out in 1988, but it is a good read and it's one that should stick around. Uh, in fact, I find it a lot more interesting and a lot better than a lot of his fiction work. So, enjoy it. Until next time. And who wouldn't want to read this book in this location? Colombian coffee.